Welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. 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 If you came looking for a miracle, welcome the Holy Spirit. If you're looking for healing, if you're looking for deliverance, if you're looking for God in your life, if you're here looking for any solution, Welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Welcome, 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 welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. We honor you, we revere you, we exalt your name. You are the best person in this place. Precious Holy Spirit, we bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. And this is your house. Come on, lift up keyboard. Spirit, come and bless. This is your house. Put in the best. A holy house of prayer. Where the lost and the lonely. Bring the burdens and the prayers. This is your house. This is your house. Holy Spirit, overflow this place. Paint our walls with grace and mercy. Healing and redemption. The singer's place. We, we have libre. We see your house. Spirit, come and pray. We see your house. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's go ahead and give. Let's give our, our, our morning offerings. And God is going to bless us mightily. You are all welcome visiting us for the first time. And uh, those of you visiting for 
many times and those have been with us. Uh, we are so excited. We are glad you are here. There's a basket behind you. In front of you. Or if you are close here, you can put it on the stage. Um, we will collect it. Um, I, I never had a Sunday service. I'll uh, first service at 1 20. One twenty. AM. To God be the glory. Um, our second service will be at eight thirty. And then the third service will be at 10.30. The fourth one will be at 7pm. Welcome to 77 dogs. Phase 4. In Jesus name. It is my prayer. That this phase, God will do incredible, tangible, touchable miracles for each one of us. We thank God for the testimonies people are giving. And we thank you for the breakthroughs that are happening to people's lives. People are coming from all over the world. So let's go ahead and give. Later on, we shall give a seed to publish the books of the Holy Spirit. How many of you have not yet received the book of the Holy Spirit? Well, get ready to, to receive. And um, you need the book of the Holy Spirit. The third, the third phase. Volume 3. This is volume 3. 77 Days of Glory series. Volume 3. Jesus. You all look wonderful this morning. Those of you watching us on Zuku, on Azam, Azam, on Star Times, Star Times or, uh, regular and Star Times satellite, satellite, YouTube, YouTube and uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp uh, tweeting, Twitter, and uh, please continue watching. Uh, yeah, we are into 55, 56 million people. Please keep on sharing it with your friends. The 77 days of glory are still going on uh, here in Uganda, the Miracle Center Cathedral. The word border border this week made it to the English dictionary. All eyes are on Uganda. Clap your hands Jesus. The word border border, it's border border is now officially an English word. Not border, border, it is si border, 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 B -O -D -A -B -O -D -A. border, and actually they even say it is a, it is a word spoken in East Africa, especially in Uganda. Kampala. Kampala. And uh, it's amazing, all eyes on Uganda. New words are finding themselves this morning. I want us to invite them and come here, take 10 seconds to greet us. In Jesus' name. Daniel Mehari. Daniel Mehari. Eritrea. He said, I've been watching 77 dogs on Facebook. I'm happy to be here. Daniel, please come up here front. Daniel Jean Epima Manerakiza. Bujumbura Burundi. Been watching on TV today. I came to attend live. Here we welcome people. So. Just lower it so that doesn't do feedback. Where are these people we are calling out? We have. Evangelist Zach Linton, Zach Linton, San Francisco, California, San Francisco, California, USA. America. 
Then we have Pastor Rita Kalule, Oklahoma City, o USA. Rita Kalule, Oklahoma City, Come on, welcome these people up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. God is so good. Amen. Amen. Amina. I'm Evangelist Zach Linton from the United States. It's good to be with you guys tonight. All I can say is that the glory of the Lord is in this place. Amen. Amina. And uh, I came to Africa for the first time about a month ago. Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. And I got to preach the gospel for three weeks in Kenya. And we saw a number of people healed and saved at a couple of the crusades that we did. But now I'm in the Pearl of Africa. And I just came here to rest in the presence of the Lord. And the last message I preached in Kenya, I just want to share a verse with you. 2 Corinthians 3.17 says, The Lord is a spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. Amen? Amina. And then the, the next part of the verse, it says, And we all with unveiled faces, Behold as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord. And we are being ever changed into his likeness. From glory to glory. So, thank you, uh, Pastor Robert. Pleasure to be with you and all you wonderful people. Praise Jesus Christ. This is my good friend, uh, Pastor Daniel. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Daniel Liyombia Salongo. I'm Pastor Daniel Salongo. Pastor Nge Church here in Nakwero. Our church is in Nakwero. It's called Cornerstone Christian Fellowship. It's called Cornerstone Christian Fellowship Church. We love you so much. Pastor Robert, Pastor Robert we love you so much. We spend nights watching 77 days. Sometimes you come and attend. We've been so privileged and blessed by this ministry. This is my request, Pastor. Most people listen to radio. It is my prayer, my request. Get a radio station. You, you get a radio station. May the Lord richly bless you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Clap your hands to Jesus. The words of the Holy Spirit. Can I have some books of the Holy Spirit? And... Uh, we want to bless you with the Holy Spirit. To Man of God, we know you came from America so again, preaching in America, Kenya. Kenya. The Lord told us we are under instruction to publish the books of the Holy Spirit and give it for free. But also he said when a man of God comes um, from overseas to plant a seed in them so that when they come here there are times of refreshing and that's what exactly we are doing. He told us how to do other things as well so that when they come here they refresh and be in the spirit of God because God is doing something to break spirit of lack and begging on Africa. So we just want to plant this seed to you. It's small, but we believe in good seed, good soil. You are good soil. This is your first time in Africa. This is uh, 300 US dollars. We want to plant it in you because we believe we believe God is going to bless and, and increase and add in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you. Yes. Praise the Lord, church. Yes, Ashimwe Chan. Yes, Yebazi Wenyo. 
My name is Jean Epimak Manirakiza. I'm a Burundian. Uh, I am here in Uganda for some time. Uh, I'm an engineer. I'm working in the road of construction in quality control here in Uganda. But it is my first time to come here. It is my first time to come here. I am a Burundian. I am a Burundian. I thank God because of this man of God, Pastor Kayanja. Kayanja. Pastor Kayanja, I love you so much. I did not know you before. I have been here for almost four years, but I did not know you. I wanted to tell you some things more. Uh, I came to know you because of my wife. This is my wife. This is my daughter. This is all my family. So, uh, uh, I came to know you because of uh, Channel 44. Ku Channel 44. I bought a digital TV. Nagula decoder. Oh, edi, edi mo TV. Digital, digital TV. Digital TV. Uh, my wife uses, uses it to be looking these movies. I think you know this is Saroni, Saroni movies. Film is, uh, but one day, I told her I don't like these movies. Because I have got a digital TV which you can see many channels. For free. Then when she was changing, she, she, saw, she, she saw that this is channel 44. Then from there, she started looking only that channel. Up to now. 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 I could go to sleep when she's on Osaroni. <laughs> but but now, I could go to sleep when she's, look, when she's looking at this channel 44. So, so and I said, let me reach there. Then I be blessed even if I get that miracle from the man. Thank you. Amen. It's called the Irutabjo series. This is my daughter. It's called the man Rakiza. Masi Gaela. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Rita Kalule. I live in Oklahoma City in the United States. Three months ago, I have a friend in Bank of Uganda. She called me and asked me, have you watched Channel 44? The Channel of Uganda. I, I never followed it. But I searched for it and I got told. Then I began to watch. They always said, this season is coming to an end. We are going to the second. I said, Lord, if seasons will go, proceed besides three, I'll have to go to Uganda. But I thank God that I'm here. When you're starting up a ministry, we were together. We used to come and pray. Even working on the issues of Yahweh was part of it. But work, I relocated. Praise the Lord. I also brought my seed. I prepared it a long time ago. That I may sow in, in this ministry $200. I would love to sow more than that. But something that is hurting me. I have infirmity, I have multiple diseases, arthritis, arthritis pressure, sciastics, fibromyalgias. All those diseases are in my body. But I believe God. As I, I, I feel paralysis now. But I believe God that I won't go back home with any disease by the time I can I'd stop taking tablets I say you tablets I'm fed up of you I have to go back home when I'm healthy and well I thank God for the ministry 
thank God for your wife many a time women are hindrances to the ministry of men they bring about issues and they hinder but I thank God for your wife God blessed you with a gift to enable you to proceed further in the kingdom of God as you stand may the Lord bless you amen Hallelujah. Amen. We are praying the Lord is going to touch you. Amen. Amen. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. We are glad we are here. People of God, we've been talking about the spirit of Jezebel. Revelation 2 verse 20. Please go there quickly. And we are going to pick up where we stopped the other day because I need to finish this and then next week we start cutting Jezebel piece by piece the spirit of Jezebel it is the number one arsenal Satan has in his weaponry factory Jezebel is a very very highly profiled demons that only targets nations especially whose destiny is in God nation like America nation like Israel nation like Uganda or Australia or Singapore every nation because the Bible said in the book of Revelation the people from every nation people from every nation from every tribe from every kindred are coming to worship God God is the founder of nations I hope you're hearing what I'm talking about. God is the founder of every nation. Do we have a Kenyan here? If you're Kenyan, get up and run to the stage. Come on, if you're Kenyan, run. Duka, Johnny, Johnny. If you're Tanzanian, come to the stage. If one Kenyan come, other Kenyans don't come. I, I just want to get on one yeah. Kenyan on the stage. One Kenyan. One Kenyan. If you are two, you go back. Tanzanian, one. Burundian, one. Rwandese, one. South Sudan one. Ave Sudan yomo amara. Sudan one. Sudan yama mboka na yomo. Ethiopia one. Baba o Ethiopia na yaje. Eritrea one. Eritrea yomo. American one. O America na yaje baba wali. England one. Baba o mungereza na yaje. Sweden one. O kuve Sweden tu fune yomo. Denmark one. Baba o mo Deni na yaje. Get close, get close, get close. You are from America, yes. You are from where? Sister, where? Tanzania. Tanzania. Rwanda. Rwanda. Kenya. Kenya. Rwanda. Hey, Rwanda, go. One, one Rwanda, go. Tanzania. Tanzania, go. Tanzania. Tanzania, go. Tanzania, go. Tanzania, go. You, go. you have already one representative, so. Banyabo, Amina. Uh huh. Sweden. On the way, Sweden. Others. On the way, Congo. Ah, Congo, good. Eritrea. Uh -huh. Eritrea. Eritrea. Okay. Mm. Which other nation? Gwanga Chedi Sigadeo. Uganda. <laughs> Uganda. Uganda. Where is Uganda? <laughs> Uganda, who you? Uganda is already. I'm. Why am I the car Uganda go over here? But you're not in Uganda. Amen. Amen. South Sudan. Uh huh. Masenga South Sudan, Uganda. Uganda. At least you have Uganda, Uganda on yourself. Uganda now Jambali the Dada. Which other country Uganda when you're not Chidda. here? Yeah.
Ateka peregori wa guangaji. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Kapera agami mbu Russia, yewe Russia. Amen. Yes. India. Okay, we have Burundi, India. Burundi, Nebu Yindi, Naiwali. Okay. Kale. Any other nation that we have not mentioned? Wali we guange di sigade yonga wali. Eh? Wanji. Tanzania is already here. Tanzania yi chiki di dua. So if you are there and your nation is not here, just get up and come. And you are? Which country? Nigeria. I'm Nigeria. Are you from Nigeria, really? That over Nigeria. Nigerian will slap you. Okay. I want you to look at this. This I'm, 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 uh, thank you for coming to participate in this message. These are all human beings. But you can tell that we are all human beings. But God decided to create nations out of one human race. He made boundaries where you have been living. And thus is your nation. God spoke the word nation in Genesis chapter 12. When he said, I'll make you a great nation. God wants to make our nations great. Thank you for your love's enthusiasm. God wants to make your nation great. Then he created another nation. After nations. He said, you are the royal priesthood. You who are born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, you are a holy nation. Though you are from England, United States, Sweden, Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, Eritrea, and many other nations, then we belong to another nation called the holy nation. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Lift up your hands and say, I belong to a holy nation. Say it again. So though you come from other nations, we are brothers and sisters because we belong to this one nation. And that is the holy nation. That's why Satan hates what they call any nation. That's why Satan is active in every nation. Because every nation is God's idea. I said every nation is God's idea. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Every nation. This is, this is not a religious church. By the way, it's very early in the morning. This is not, we are not in religion. We have life. Be excited about your nation in Jesus' name. Get up on your feet and shout glory for the nation. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. So every nation is God's design. God has a plan for every nation. God has his people in every nation. God has you in every nation. In fact, he said in the book of Psalms 2, ask me of the nations. I'll give them to you for your inheritance. May the Lord give you a nation for inheritance. Oh, thank you for your last enthusiasm. I say, may the Lord give you a nation for your inheritance. So the word nation is God's idea. 
not man's idea. That's why Satan tried to use man to destroy God's idea. Like in the Garden of Eden, the Garden was God's idea, marriage was God's idea, but Satan used man to destroy God's idea. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. But Satan uses us to destroy the temple of the Holy Ghost with smoking and alcohol and drugs and sin. The temple of the Holy Spirit is God's idea. But Satan uses man to destroy. Why does he use man? Because man is the only thing that looks like God. We are made in the image of God. So he wants to be we who are like God to destroy the things of God. We who look like God to destroy the things of God. But thank God for the Holy Spirit. We are smarter than yesterday. I say we are wiser than two years ago. We will not destroy God's idea. We will preserve God's idea. We will uphold God's idea. Our nations will serve the Lord. I said our families will serve the Lord. Shame upon you devil. We will not serve you. We don't belong to you. Someone call fire. We will not bow down to you. Our nations will serve the living God. For God and my country. Get up on your feet and shout glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All this nation is God's idea. And because it's God's idea, God must finance every nation. God must bless every nation. God must anoint every nation. God must raise leaders in every nation. That's why the nation of Uganda is a nation of God. This is a nation of Jehovah God. I declare it. I shout it. I sing about it. I say it. Uganda is not a country of demons. It's not a country of Uganda tagenda kusamira. Uganda won't practice witchcraft. Every Uganda demons in Uganda destroy today. Amani garuvale ne mi samba na chwezi na chwezi na mayembe. No fly zone in Uganda. Temubuki de Uganda. Tell your neighbor that I know you came with your demons. But we have rendered them powerless. Tell them you are a are dead. Fire! Murilo! America will not worship demons. America will not worship demons. Will not worship dollar or gold or anything. America will worship the living God. Because America's motto said, "For in God we trust." Japan, you not worship Confucius. You will worship Jesus Christ. The Arab world, you not worship anything else. You are gonna worship the Almighty God. If you are still in January, we possess your nation in the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready to possess nations? How many of you want to travel nations? Not going to trade. Not going to play games. But traveling to possess nations for Jesus. Don't think it is impossible. 
Because behind me here, e wange wano, in close proximity, I am next to Sweden. I can even shake hand with Sweden. I can shake hand with Kenya. I am touching Rwanda. Kute mkono gwe Rwanda. I am shaking hand with Tanzania. I am shaking hands with America. Kute mkono gwe America. And Eritrea. Ne mkono gwe Eritrea. In the same way, I am shaking hand with South Sudan. Kute mkono gwe Congo. Gwe Congo. Bolingo ya Yesu. Amen. South Sudan. Uganda. Uganda. Burundi. 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 India. Nebuyindi. People of God. Bantu bakatonda. You are about to shake hands with a nation. Onate lo kwata mikono jama wanga. You are about to shake hands with a nation. Onate lo kwata mikono jama wanga. Going to America is gonna be very easy. Ogenda mo America chigenda ba changu. Going to Australia. Ogenda mo Australia. Now we're going to Singapore. Ogenda Singapore. Malaysia. Malaysia. Traveling to Russia. Ogenda Russia. Israel. E Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is very near you. E chiri kumpi nyona awe. Katonda kuweye nsi. May God give you a nation. Yono chala ngoro tamala. Where you visit every now and then. Katonda kuweye nsi. May God give you a nation. Jebana kule ngele nebaka jomu kazu wa katonda atuse. Where they will see and say behold the woman of God has arrived. Hallelujah. 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 He said, Ask me of the nations. I'll give them to you for your inheritance. How many of you want to inherit America? You shall have a house in America. A house in Uganda. A house in Rwanda. A house in Rwanda. A Kenya. A house in Kenya. And in England. Hallelujah! Even in Singapore, receive. Woo! I bless Singapore. I bless Australia. Australia I bless Indonesia. Indonesia and Malaysia. 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 May the Lord give you a house in Dubai. Hallelujah. 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 Mukama kwen you berandan. May the Lord give you a house in London. I receive. Lift up your hand. The word nation is not a devil's idea or man's word. It is a God's idea. You are about to come close. As you see, I'm, I'm close to Tanzania. Sweden. Close to Sweden. Visa, your passport, your visa, your passport is coming. I receive. How many of you like you like to go to America and visit? What about UK? Some of you need to go there and do your masters. You do your PhD. Some of you must go to America and get me my jet. You need to go to, to these countries and buy a helicopter and bring it back. Get some tractors and set. Combine harvesters. The combine harvesters. Ha! Some of you need to go there and open up shops. Where you sell Uganda coffee. Seventy-seven dogs. Ah! Where you sell Uganda coffee. Seventy-seven dogs. How many of you like to go to UK? Dubai. Dubai. Sweden. Sweden. Beautiful country, Sweden. Sweden, Kwanga, pity for Brunch. We love Sweden. We Sweden love the Swedish people. Aba Sweden, Tuba, Gadanyo. Switzerland. Switzerland. Quat and Sawyer. Hold your bag. Hold your bag. Quat and Sawyer, hold your dinner. Get on your marks. Te, we take a Get then. set. We take a coke. You're about to fly. On that, you're going to go to the Quat and Migugu. 
You are going to those nations to hold a 77 dogs revival. You are going to those nations to preach the gospel fire, to bring revival to Eritrea, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. <laughs> hey! Fire! When you go to those nations, they shall receive you. They shall bless you. They shall receive your anointing. You are not going there as a beggar. You are going there as a giver. But those nations have one enemy. Those nations are in trouble. Those nations are under siege by a force of darkness that doesn't want you to go there. That doesn't want you to go and stand there and build your house and evangelize and touch people's lives. That danger is known as Jezebel. That danger is called the spirit of Jezebel. The people of those nations don't know their destiny. They don't know their levels. It is only the church. It is only those who are called by God that know their destiny in those nations. And Satan is attacking them with the spirit of Jezebel. But God is giving you a triple anointing. You are the one to kill Jezebel. I say you've been chosen by God. You're going to kill Jezebel. Jezebel desire two offices. Office number one. He wants to be a prophet. Because through prophecy, God reveals what is about to come. That's why he has perverted the office of the prophet. The office of the prophet is no longer as it used to be. In fact, when Jesus came, he put it to a stop, full stop. When he came, he said, until now, no prophecy, no prophets. He said, John was the greatest and the last one. Why? Because the devil was using that office. He said, prophesying about the destiny of a nation. Satan is busy confusing people. So and so is your enemy. So and so this is an enemy. People of God, I have good news for you. Oh, I have a shocking news for you. And hear me very well. And this is going to bless your heart. Because of fear. Satan causes you to use your biggest weapon on a mosquito. He allows you or he scares you to use a bazooka on a mosquito so that when the real enemy comes, you are left with no weapon to use. We are becoming wiser. We will not touch our weapon. Because what we are going through is a matter of receiving the Holy Ghost. For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of every stronghold and every spirit and thought that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. 
Kristo. The Holy Spirit. The Bible says he will take from Jesus and teach us. The knowledge of Jesus equals Holy Spirit. If you want to see how wise God is, get the Holy Ghost. If you want to know how powerful God is, receive the Holy Spirit. If you really want to know how God operates, get the Holy Spirit. Once you have the Holy Spirit, you've gotten the wisdom of God. And this morning, we are wiser because we are receiving the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hand and said, I need the Holy Spirit. Say, I receive the Holy Spirit. Nations are under attack by the Spirit of Jezebel. And when nations are under attack or under confusion, they can even reject you. They can say, Don't come here. And yet you are the one who has the key to unlock and to bind and to kill Jezebel. Ahab thought Elijah was his enemy. Ahab came to Elijah and said, Ahab, you prophet, you are the one disturbing Israel, stabilizing Israel. And Elijah said, I am not the one. You are the one. Because you have allowed Jezebel. Child of God. Some people think you are the trouble. Because you shout too much. But you are the key. You are the gift. God has released. To free Africa. To free Uganda. To free your family. Out of the grip of Jezebel. Jezebel Jezebel is dying today. Let me tell you what Jezebel brings. Jezebel allows religion to exist. Because religion is very weak. Religion will never hurt Jezebel. There were 7,000 prophets of Baal. 7,000. Jezebel was not afraid of them. He was afraid, she was afraid of one man. Elijah. And Elijah left a double anointing on Elisha. Elisha. And Elisha died. And Jehu came out. And he killed Jezebel. Jezebel. Three men against 7,000 religious ones. I'm, I'm, I'm no longer worried about numbers. You and I, you and your sister, you are about to save the whole clan. You and your mama, mama oh. under the Holy Spirit, you are about to change a nation. You might be the one with your daughter to set Sweden on fire. You are about to go and change the Masai. You are about to bring revival in Rwanda. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift up your hand and jump seven times and said, I have been chosen. Come on, say, I have been chosen. Noah was one. He served his family. And every species of every animal. Child of God. You're going to touch many people. You're going to serve people in Kenya. Everywhere. People are going to come to heaven. Because of you. God has chosen you. Jezebel is in trouble. God has chosen you. And it means if he has chosen you, boy, he's going to finance you. Baba, gonna put a Woo! Checho. God is going to finance you. Katona, gonna put a cash. 
Jezebel may control the economy. Jezebel may control, control the payroll. May control who promotes you. But God has already raised you above Jezebel. Jezebel. Let me ask a question. Elijah Heria. never ate Jezebel food. But God fed him every day. Reverence brought the food. What about Elisha? What about Jehu? Who paid their bills? You defeat the spirit of Jezebel by refusing their food. Daniel did the same. He refused to eat the food of idols. In other words, get ready for a divine provision. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I say, get ready. There's cash that the Lord is about to send to you. Ah, don't get it. You didn't get what I said. Give your neighbor high ten. Tell them I'm about to count money. My money is coming. Wealth is coming. Birds can bring money. I said birds can carry money to you. Ah, uh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Do we have a roof of bread there? Is there any bread? Somebody get me bread. Jezebel wants to take on the spirit of teaching. That's why he has now taken over secular education. Because he knows we all need to learn. We all need to be told. But in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit is going to be your teacher. The Holy Spirit is your teacher. The scripture said they shall all be taught by the Spirit. Somebody found that scripture for me and put it there for me. They shall all be taught by the Holy Spirit. This brother from America said this was his first time to come to Africa. Africa. No, there is a real scripture. They shall all be taught by the Holy Spirit. Pastor Arthur, look for that scripture and put it up there quickly. I know he's going to bring us remembrance. But I'm talking about being novice and don't know what to do. And then the Holy Spirit taught you. He came from America first time. And he's been doing crusade. Who taught him? The Holy Ghost. Lift up your hand. And speak in tongues and say, Rimbro you're going to be taught how to profit. You are going to make money and people will say, how The Holy you? Spirit is going to teach you. You will open your mouth and preach the gospel. Two thousand people will give the life to Jesus. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you. What is the bread? Where is the bread, the cake, or the cake, or the cassava, whatever is there? Or the scooty, whatever it is.
Okay, hallelujah. Amen, amen. We wow. The ravens. Binamungona. The ravens e went on picking loaves of bread for Elijah. This bread is heavy. Somebody give me. Oh, the sister broke. Sister brought two hundred dollars here. That is a hundred dollars. Akapapura kadora ya chikumi. If a raven, a chinyoni, could. Pick up the bread, which is heavy, to Elijah. The bread and the dollar, which is heavier. <laughs> and which is valuable. The bread or the dollar. Therefore, no, the Holy Spirit, Omoyo Mutukufu, once you start fighting Jezebel, Jezebel, the dollar is coming to you. The shilling is coming to Sirinje you. Jadioli. Wealth is coming to you. I receive. If the brevens could carry bread and fly with it and deliver it to Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here wants to kill Jezebel? I said, anybody here ready to kill Jezebel? In the name of Jesus. What we've been waiting for is coming to you faster than you prayed. You may be seated, nations. Come here, young man. Yes, you. I want you. Don't touch you with your hands. Be like a raven. And pick up the bread. No hands, just your mouth. Don't touch. Don't touch. Make sure you hold it. Don't Now, go fly go to your place where you are seated. Move your wings. Move your wings. 
Gorule biwa watiro. Hey, aha. Now come here. Kati komao. Leave your bread there. Mugati gurekere iri yawali. Don't touch it. Togo kwa tako na angalo. Was it heavy? Kuba de kuzitoa. Yes. Okay. Kali. Now. Don't touch it. Tokwa takona angalo. Take it with your mouth. Tukaru. And fly. Buka buka. Is it heavy? Omoksa kuzitoa. Okay, come and tell me. Come on, Bolly. Okay, which of the two would you like to take all the time? Bread or the dollar? The dollar. Why? Because it's the one I like. Dollar, jenja gada ya dendi moto. Which of the two is heavy? Come on, Bolly. Sing us the tour. The bread. So now you've learned the lesson. That if the ravens could carry bread for Elijah, divine provision will carry money to you and I. You may be seated. Those are yours. Divine provisions. Lift up your hand. Say Jezebel. Gamba Jezebel. I declare war on you. Get out of my nation. What makes Jezebel's spirit dangerous? It does not attack a family. It attacks a nation. So that everybody suffers. We refuse. Our nation will not suffer. They shall all be talked about the Holy Spirit. Did you find it? Yeah. John chapter 6 verse 45. This is where I told you Jezebel's spirit is very dangerous. According to Revelation 2.20. She desired to be a prophetess. And a teacher. Now John 6.45. Jesus speaking. It is written in the prophet. Now if Jezebel is the prophet. She will, she will not teach you. This. No. Because it is written in the prophets. And they shall be all taught of God. God is the Spirit. So they shall be all taught by the Spirit. Every man, therefore, that has heard and has learned of the Father cometh unto me. In other words, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. The spirit of Jezebel is an anti-Christ. She is the mother of the beast. Six, six, six. She 
she produces that which controls economies. And if she puts her hand on the economy of a nation, she has put her hand on the economy of the church. But I'm here to tell you, your money does not belong or is not controlled by man somewhere. You are about to receive divine provision. Therefore, you have to embark financial divine order. I was writing today something about the, somebody came and, 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 and asked me what was in Ambuza? Uh, a question he came all the way from Rwanda. He arrived the, the other day on Friday, Saturday morning and uh, he stayed until 2 p.m. yesterday. He said, Pastor, how can I be able I've been called to go and do something I don't know. I'm a businessman. The Holy Spirit told me to ask him a question. Actually, the Holy Spirit was asking me a question. He said, what's the most important thing from Gen to Rev? I mean, from Genesis to Revelation. What is the most important thing? I shared it with the youth yesterday. I said, what's the most important thing? They told me, Holy Spirit, uh, this and this. But the most important thing, the Holy Spirit told me, from Genesis to Revelation, the most important thing is not even salvation. It's not even the Holy Spirit. It's not even the blood of Jesus. The most important thing is to hear God. And Do you know why there was darkness on the earth? The Holy Spirit asked me a question. You're going to find it in the book, book number four. He said to me, I'm, I'm, this guy is seated in my presence and he's asking questions. And the Holy Ghost is also asking me questions. He said, do you know why there was darkness on planet Earth? He said, do you know why? No, no, he didn't say there was darkness. He said, do you know yeah. Do you know there was darkness on the land? And do you know why there was void on us? <laughs> this man is asking questions. I need to give him an answer. And the Holy Spirit is asking me questions. I said, I don't know. You teach me. The reason why God made the heaven and the earth and the earth was full of stuff but the earth was void I had not known it for 37 years of ministry until yesterday. Do you want to know? You want me to tell you? No, you are not ready. Do you know why? Because in the beginning, God created and never spoke. The second time he came, darkness covered everywhere. And the Bible said, and God said, and there was. Come on, come on, somebody. Wow. Clap your hands to Jesus. When he spoke, something had him. And it was. Hearing his voice is the most important thing. 
God is already spirit. He wants to hear people hear his voice. So, darkness heard him. And light came. And trees came. When Adam did not hear him, Adam sin came. That's why he said, if you are willing and obedient, in fact, he said, if you hear my voice, don't harden your heart. Here he says, he said, they will be taught by God. They will be taught by God. Hearing God, that's what Abraham heard. And God said to Abraham, Genesis 12, and God said to Abraham, and Abraham heard it. <laughs> the Holy Spirit said something to me this afternoon. Yesterday. And I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down in book number four. The way God Katonda prospers you is by destroying by using you to destroy that is what is trying to destroy you. The very thing you are running away from is where he sends you back and you destroy it. Let me put it this way. Mukama, the Lord, when the devil tries to, use to destroy what the Lord has already done, the Lord will use you to destroy what the devil has been sending you to do. Oh boy. So, what you're running away from is hidden the miracle that is taking you to the next level. Moses fled from Egypt. But the Lord told him, go back. Because what will make you famous is not here. And Moses never entered Canaan. He came close to it. He even foresaw it. He desired to enter it. But the Lord never permitted it. He told him your strength what will make you a great man is in Egypt where you're fleeing from. Therefore, go back. Brethren, what will make you a great person is what had clung upon you for a long time. The Lord is giving you strength to destroy it. Tell your neighbor this anointing I'm receiving is not just for plowing gardens but to go back where they knew me that I failed I'll never be rich I'll never deliver I'll never build that is what I'm going to start off with you shall know that I'm anointed Brethren, whatever you fail to do all this long, that is where your miracle is. That will prove to the world that God is with you. What had you failed to do? Driving a car? You are going to drive it. Building a house? You are going to build one. 
Righteousness. You are going to be righteous. Musa ya Muzayo. Go to Moses to go back. From a place he ran from. Gamba kulina. Tell your neighbor. That's how God does things. That's how God is. When Jesus died and he was buried, hmm? uh -huh. when he resurrected and he ascended to heaven, God told him, go back 40 more days. Prove to them that you are alive. We don't run away. God say, I do not run away. We gods don't run away. So, what you had failed to do is what God is sending to destroy. Whoever is here, they knew about you in a village. That in your family, nobody get married. When you get married, you don't conceive. And when you give birth to kids, they die. If they don't die, they become foolish. This one time, you give birth to seven children. You will get married and the entire village will attend your wedding. You will build a house. What you had failed to do, the Lord is anointing you this morning to go and defeat them. The spirit of Jezebel is a spirit that attacks finances, attacks issues of wisdom. He even dares to attack the voice of God. The Lord would never do anything without revealing to his If a demon is speaking, you know, you won't get that thing. He has quit on it. You won't proceed. Even in your family, nobody got married. Nobody gave birth to children. Whoever grows up dies prematurely. Brethren, those funny voices is what you're going to first decapitate. That is how God behaves. He doesn't just send you. He first created heaven and earth. And the earth denied. The earth. It literally Go try. Go try. But the earth, according to scriptures, then he came back the second time. He time. said, Let there be light. Now. And the light was. God does not have Whatever you had felt these years, in this fourth phase is what we're beginning with. You didn't hear what I said? What had failed in this fourth phase is what we are starting with. We are starting with alcohol. We are starting with prostitution. We are starting with theft. Starting dealing with the poverty. Start now. Begin to break now. Tell them. I'm come back for you. The reason I came back today. I have spent the night in prayer. I'm starting with you. I'm breaking you out. I'm destroying you out. I'm crushing you out. You. You. Who never survived the phase. You. Who is not left me this way. You. 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 I'm breaking you now. Go ahead. You. You. I'm destroying you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you prayed and never got. It belongs to you now in the name of Jesus. Whatever you prayed and never got.
Shout and say, I start with you. Every disease that never got healed. It is getting healed now. Say the Spirit of God has anointed me. I see something like Things are dripping. It's like milk is dripping. I'm a the anointing, the triple anointing is dripping on you now. People are going to see you after you've made it. They will say, how have you made it? And you will tell them. The Lord anointed me when I began Jezebel. to fight the spirit of Jezebel. That house that is in complete is going to be completed this phase. They came to your home, they courted you, but they never came back. We are starting with you. We command them to come for introduction to Hingira and finally the wedding. You went to school but never completed it. You are about to complete your degree. Your house is incomplete. It's just on the door. It's getting completed now. You got several strategies. Your hands are into it. This time you're getting saved totally and completely. You you to 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 then there was something, something there is no you. You. This time you're receiving your total healing. You went to school, received your bachelor's, you got a certificate, they but they have not appointed you, no appointment letter. They are sending you a card to pick you. Say the Spirit of God is upon me. It's amazing in Luke 4 8. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me. He has anointed me for these four things. The first thing to preach the gospel to the poor. Every poor people in your village, this is the way you're going to preach to them. You who was called a pauper, even the poor were calling you. They are going to see the kind of car you drive, the kind of car you drive, the kind of business you drive. That is the gospel you're going to preach to the poor in your village. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. The miracles God is going to give to you. Whoever has become weak in the Lord. Whoever has been become discouraged in the Lord. Huh? Huh? 
Whoever has been in God and they feel so discouraged what the Lord has done for you is going to restore and encourage them. I said what you are called to receive and you never received it is what you're starting with Captain Dora come over here Dora. Dora. come give me some dollars come here they called Dora. you Dora. where are dollars give me some dollars Ziri <laughs> hmm? I don't have them here. Mm. Ah, so you you're not just calling yourself Captain Dollar without dollars. Put dollars in your pocket. What had failed is what you're starting with. What you had failed to achieve is what you're starting with. Gamba kuida je chita and he say. Tell your neighbor it has started. Enjiri joge no kumuira. The gospel you're gonna preach. Egenda kuzamu abantu abadeva menye semi tima. He's going to encourage and restore the broken hearted. Ogenda bazamu ama. You shall encourage them. To preach deliverance to the captives. Because the Lord has delivered you. You who was a drug addict, who was a fornicator, a liar, a prosecutor, a grumbler, a person who eats But they are going to look at your life. And they say, what happened to so-and-so? How comes his life is different? May the Lord grant you a tangible deliverance that girl was a prostitute in Jericho she said because we have heard we have heard what your God has done to the nations where you have we also know that he has granted you this city. Testimony, let it go before you. What the Lord is going to do let for you, let it go ahead of you. Brethren, I do not know. Amongst the youth meeting today, yesterday, there was a little girl six years old. Her name was Nyakaisiki. Nyakaisiki, six years old. Nyakaisiki. I asked the same question. What's the most important thing in the Bible? This girl ran. They were big young youth. She ran straight to the stage. So I gave her my microphone. I said, if you fail, if I give you a microphone, you're going to give me five push-ups. Six years old. Of course, she gave me a wrong answer. And I told her, down, six push-ups. Do you know what she did? This six-year-old kid, Pastor David, she didn't put her palm. She went on her knuckles. And she went down. Six. Everybody started laughing. We started up. This kid was unique. <laughs> no shoes. White dress. So I said, get up. I said, who are you? She said, I said, you go to school? She said, how much money do you pay? She, she said, said, I don't know my mama. No. I said, but you came with somebody. She, she said, said, 
He's over there, that one. You come here quickly. She commands the big sister to come. This is a true story I'm telling you. It happened yesterday. And so while she's here, she said, I want school fees. And I also want, I said, what do you want? Because I thought she was going to say shoes. She said, I want school fees. And I want a big phone for my mama. I am tired of seeing my mama with this little numbered phone. This little I want a real phone. A big one for my mama. I said, are you sure? She said, yeah. That's what I want, the big one. She said, You are going to buy it. I said, Why? She said, You, Pastor Kayanja, you have a lot of money. You. I said, People say, you, you are very rich. I've never had any. any, any I mean, this kid, I oh, can't man, even no. present how she did. But we all laughed. The whole place was on fire. People were standing. This girl kept on going and going and going. I've never seen such an energy. Man, six year old girl with such confidence. Such confidence. Then I asked her, Mama, six year old girl with such confidence. Then I asked her, Do you love Jesus? She said, Very much. I love him more than you love him. You are talking about a kid from heaven. <laughs> People of God. I ended up buying a good phone for her mama. <laughs> in the box. And she jumped and danced. I've never seen a kid like that in my life. And this is what the Holy Spirit told me. He said, Do you see? I called people to get saved. A six year old. She said, we walk from Nabulagala to here on foot. That we foot from home up to here. My mama can, must have a phone. Mama, you know, phone is simple. Child of God. I told them, a six-year-old kid left home this morning, told mama I'm going to pray, but I'm bringing your phone. A six-year-old. And the Lord told me, he said, under the Holy Spirit, you are about to bring a solution to your family that has not been there. Through the Holy Spirit, you are about to become an answer to a community that has been lost. Through the Holy Spirit, you are about to become an answer to the church that has been fasting and praying. Through, through the Holy Spirit, you are about to become a man, a woman who bring revival to your generation and a visitation of Almighty God. Lift up your hand and shout, Holy Ghost, seven times. You thought you were ordinary, you. You've been looking ordinary because you have never been given a chance. But from today, the moment you start fighting the spirit of Jezebel, God marks you for uniqueness. Lift up your hand and smile and laugh and said, I am unique. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. To preach deliverance to the captives. And then he said, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. He said, I'm here to declare the favorable year. This is the year of faith. This year, 
God is going to favor you. God is going to favor you. You are his choice. You are his vessel. And he is going to favor you. Again, a story. Lift up your hand and just laugh. God is going to favor you. He will favor me. I wrote a song a couple of years ago. I was going through tough times and And I needed to talk to God. And I didn't know. It seemed to be very distant. And the Holy Spirit seems to be in suspended. And I I felt my words will be words of faith. I don't know how God works with people, but with me. He either allows me to hear a melody or I feel like I need to sing to him. And my words are bare and dry. He will favor me above all else. He will favor me. He will favor me above all else. He will favor me. He will favor me above. With all this press, with all this negativity, with your friends not calling you, what are you going to do? I had the devil laugh. Then my faith rose up. And I said, Ningamba. He will favor me above all else. He will favor me. He will favor me. I know that. Above all else, He will favor me. Come on, boy.
Lift your voices. He will favor you. Experience the favor of the Lord. He will favor me. He will favor me. He will favor me. He will favor me. Yesterday, I don't know where you are right now. Things may not be right. Things may not be going well. But he's going to favor you. Above everything else. Above all else. Above people. Above your enemies. Above your challenges. Above your accusers. Above the circumstances. And above so many things he's going to do for you. Above blessing you. Above giving you money. Above giving you protection. He will favor you. You may be seated. Let's give. To publish the book of the Holy Spirit. Series 4.
Florence Were will receive you half a million shillings for publishing the book. Mr. and Mrs. Grieving Kasura. $200 to publish the book. Uh, we are raising the 7,000 people. So just in case you're here, you're among the 7,000. It means you're giving a million shillings for your church, for your company, for your organization, for yourself. You can come on the stage. Lift your hands and just love. to publish the books of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I have a covenant with you, Holy Spirit. I take care of your business. You take care of my business. All of it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now laugh and praise God. You can go ahead and give yourself. Okay,
lift your hands. Just love. Just love. Just love. So if you're here, you've never given your love to Jesus. And you want to give your love to Jesus, put up your hand. Put up your hand. And come down here. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen and yo. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise Kama the Lord. Praise Kama wow. God is so good. Wherever you are, just come to Jesus. Yesterday we saw a nun getting saved. There's a haji getting saved. Come here, young man. Tell us why you want to give your love to Jesus. Praise the Lord, brethren. I'm Ibrahim Luzinda. I'm Ibrahim Luzinda. I'm a Muslim man. But today, I've come before Pastor Robert Kayanja. <laughs> Praise God. I was born in a staunch Muslim family. But today I've come before Pastor I'm Robert fed up. Pastor, I've done lots of things in this world. Pastor, but I want to discover who I am. I've come before you, Pastor. There are terrible things moving in family. We've had several Muslim men in the family. Many of them are Muslims. Many of them are traditionalists into witchcraft and sorcery. Pastor, we were born as many siblings. Our father gave Mama birth to many children. We are eight out of my mother. Four boys and four girls. But I'm the last born. And they least expect me to get saved. But today, I want to bring about a change in the legacy of our family. As I give my heart and my soul to Jesus Christ. I was a DJ. I've been into discotheques. For five years I've been into discotheques. Pastor, you've been saying that you know 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 that so that some people have been saying you've never Pastor, been so in a family. It's been said that with the boys, 
tuzatatugenda kufuna ku bintu bya amanyi we will never kuvuga moto ka amount to anything drive cars kuzimba nyumba never build houses atenga pastor anchiraba kuba baganda bangebo na balenzeri ayina moto ko kujja ku mwate ba mugoba mukika brothers even tata wange yamuzalukuka my father denounced pastor ekibuzo cheni no lwalero dala nsobola okuchusa ebiri mu family yange ne bibira luke change the issues of my family and it becomes a history. I've decided to get saved today. I've watched the man down on channel 44. I love it so much. Ever since the seasons began. I decided to I wanted to apply for a job here. There are two things that I probably think will change my life. Nabam Bidula, I came out of Denkola. Disco text that's the work I've been doing. Been to be encoded standing being said, I've done a lot for the devil. Can't call it a Katonda, even to be doing a work for God in the rest of my life. Pastor Kulokuli called demo, yeah, channel 44, and I just called it a demo. I use my wisdom to do it. Ngampereza program yali abana kunonya bitone byabana mu bitundu ebyenja wulo kweri kuno pastor ngana kulekera flash yang I will leave you my flash Wachiba chisoboka kuliko there's also kena koze bakata revival oba wali wali mu contrast oro complain ngira ko wana ku screen pastor nsabe dachi kabili zoka Amen as good to me Ali mu control I can't take it ko ku screen wana bakata revival it's called revival Banange I had a dream. From way back, I desired to be a TV presenter. I applied over several states. They asked me money before they know what I can present or do. So I, failed. I had no support at all. I request to stand close to you. And I, request, I, I beg you. If at I least on channel 44. The whole world is watching. Pastor, praise God. Man of God. Whatever you've been speaking about is being about. I want to be delivered today. I want to be delivered. I don't want to go back. I don't want to serve the devil again. Revival, yeah, it's titled Revival. Revival. Just listen to the story. The little, the little I know about the man of God, I documented it. I didn't go find school, but I'm smart things that can amaze nations. Banange, mukama yeba zibwe. Praise the Lord. Esawe no family yangu ni maelewa kutivinga kwenye. If my family is sure, but they go kungo ba mchikamze. They will chase me out of the clan. My brother is a Muslim. My brother is a Muslim. He doesn't love. But I want to challenge legacy. As a family, as a legacy, that all of them will desire. I want to bring about a change in my family. A great difference. But I think they are lost. They may come out because I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest. And I want to bring about this change. Amen. Amen. Okay. Today, I can talk about this heart. We are in Ramadan, but enough is enough. It's enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I can't come to Kagamba and see. This is how the earth was before. Every time we have a new generation, you see the birds and the nature. Every time we have a new generation, you see the birds and the nature. Every time we have a new generation, you see the birds and the nature. Every time we have a new generation, you see the monkeys. Every time we have a new generation, you see the birds. Before man. All the time we are setting up peace. Everything was at peace. Everything was at peace. Everything was at peace. 
Noza mchila utonde wa NCB4 mtu nga tanda wa kuja. Checha liwo. Na eka tonda ya tonda wa mtu na mua. Authority yukwe langa wafuga vulichimu. Na mua mai. Devo, overstand ya tani kwa kwezi wa mtu kusanya wa utonde wa NCB. Aba ntuvata ni kukwe langa wa tensolo. Za katonda. Ngawe mchila wa muka video. Evi ntuviatu kwa katonda mkunyiga. Na tani kwa kulete evi ntubanange. Nange njogera chemanyi ebintu ebyatu kawolengera see what happened disease is as well ifana we bityo byatani ko kujja munsi began to come on earth obwavu poverty nebuluma abantu afflicted people enjala fame entalo za yijanga ne mutufu ngati wali okujja ko ekintu chimu kudeli jesus christ apart from turning to jesus christ solution was a solution abantu basaba basabe katonda abademu prestala zawe Abantu basaba people prayed katonda naisa mu mwana we Yesu Kristo God responded to his son Jesus Christ Sajawa katonda oyo send us the man of God Pastor Robert Kayanja as you sense that the world may change people na tuletere chintu fenda fenda che twewunya te tumanyi chaja chitya we don't know it happened yalete chintu chino he brought about this yaleta ya jana mission he came with a mission Abasiramu vala baba mtu vali baba kanya chigena maso mukwanga. Muslims are looking, wondering what's happening. Yajane chito chogena ukulaba kubire. He came about with something. Seventy-seven days of glory. God came up in the seventy-seven days of glory. What scripture ya umaso mujibu izabulungi? Listen to that scripture. Abasinga mosoroji funa. Most of you are familiar. Sima yibulu njibaye buli na yena vikula nyo sovolo kujia mwa kantuwe katyo. I open the Bible and go that scripture. Nenkate kamu video footage yeno. Put it in this footage. Pastor kusinzira 77 kufoje zata nikira wada ayamba abantu. Season 1 pastor. Emiru wade katonda vya liya sindi kamu nsi. Nagamba. Sajawa katonda wana agenda biwonya. Man of God is going to be used. Mula wa sajawa wasila mbalo kuka. Muslims are getting saved. Pastor, I saw it on our Zoom. Pastor, I saw it on Uganda. The white I thought he was a Nigerian. I thought he was a Nigerian. I thought he was a Nigerian. I thought he was a Nigerian pastor. I was amazed when you spoke Luganda. I was amazed when you spoke Luganda. I said, "We wow." No, it's never going to come here. Kuba, every single movie man, you to say, "Oh, I'm going to move here." I'm going to move here. 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 I'm going to move I give my life to Jesus Christ. I want to bring about a change in my family. My God, my God. Mayembe, abachwezi, abachwezi, abalogobona, abalogobona, bali wanswa bigere, bali wanswa bigere. Yesu ampadde dembe, Yesu ampadde dembe. Sumulu dorwale, sumulu dorwale. Yenda mote endereza, yenda mote endereza, yenda mote endereza, yenda mote endereza. I'm going to follow you. Weba le nyo Yesu, weba le nyo Jesus, weba le nyo mukama. Weba le nyo Lord, ndiwa dembe, I'm free. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. You are welcome. Definitely, you are gifted. You can tell stories. The Lord has brought you for a purpose. God is going to do something through you. Uh, we will see you. This baptism today. Pastor Chris is right there speaking. Give him your details. I'll get them from him. The Lord is going to do something. Your life will not remain the same. Clap your hands to Jesus Christ. People, clap your hands to Jesus Christ. Wow. 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 Victory belongs to Jesus. Follow Pastor Chris. We shall see you later. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands to Jesus. Well, tomorrow is going to be a very busy day. A great day. Today. And God is going to do mighty things. Stand up on your feet, everyone. Stand up on your feet. Whether you are sick. Whether you need God. What a mighty God. In Jesus' name. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Oh, down, 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 down. When 
the Spirit of the Lord come down. When the Spirit of the Lord come down. When the Spirit of the Lord from heaven come down. Sing with strength and everybody. When the Spirit of the Lord come down. When the Spirit of the Lord come down. When the Spirit of the Lord from heaven come down. Lift your hands and tell him where. time let the spirit of the lord come down let the spirit of the lord come down let the spirit of the lord let the spirit Hands up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands this morning. Hallelujah. You are now joining we got the Japanese, Japan. the Arabs. The Israelis, the Asians, who are worshiping God now. The rest of Africa is sleeping. Africa, the rest of Uganda is sleeping. Uganda, you are the only one who is awake. So lift up your hand and get his attention. Get his attention. The rest of the world is sleeping. Maybe America is in the evening service. You are joining those who are worshiping God. Come on, lift your Hand and worship the Lord. There is a favor. There is a favor. There is a favor. There is a bonus. There is a bonus. That is falling on you. When everybody is asleep, you are worshiping God. Raise those hands up.
The presence of God is in this place. Worship your maker. Worship your God. Worship the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Join your hands together and start laughing. Start laughing. Diseases are living. Pain is living. Pain is living. Pain is living. Witchcraft is being destroyed. The spirit of Jezebel. God has given you anointing over it. You are the one to finish it in your family. You are the one to crush it and destroy it. The anointing is increasing on you. The anointing of wisdom. The anointing of riches. The anointing of power. The anointing of grace. The favor of God is descending on you. God is using you. Come on, lift your hands. Join them together and lift them up. And laugh. 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 <laughs> Receive a fresh touch from God. Receive a fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. <laughs> the power of Almighty God is here. We <laughs> wow, yes. Just love. <laughs> oh. Divine finances is coming. Divine money is coming. <laughs> Divine provision. Divine provision. Divine provision. Divine provision. Divine provision. People are coming. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. They are coming from all over the world. They are coming from all of Africa. From all over the country. From all over. From all over. From all over. They are getting saved. They are getting saved. They are getting healed. They are getting blessed. They are getting anointed. They are getting transformed. You need the anointing. You need the anointing. To build your house, to change your family. Come on, receive. Funa, receive. Funa, receive. Funa, touch, 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 touch. You need the anointing for miracles. You need the anointing for deliverance. You need the anointing for your car. You need the anointing for your new job. You need the anointing for your house. Touch. 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 The power of God is everywhere. The power of God is everywhere. The anointing for evangelism. The anointing for miracles. You are receiving it. God is favoring you. Above all. Above all. Above all. Above all. Above all. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Touch. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Power. 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 
Receive it, Gafune. 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 The Holy Ghost is here. We want to value and receive the power for our mind. Receive the anointing for our after. Receive the power for our mind. Receive the anointing for our after. Touch, but what touch? 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 Rapposekatarabapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapap
The anointing is here delivering your family. You are about to go where you never go before. Touch, 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 Receive the anointing for deliverance, for favor, for power, for grace, for traveling, for riches, for increase. Put a tap on that. Raprakosa. Shata Raprakas. Rika Raprakasota. Raprakasata. Randa Ramatosa. Zata Raposa. Pika Tarapasa. Yanda Ramasa. Yanda Raposa. Put a Raprakasa. Put a Tetapokosa. <laughs> laugh. Join your hands and laugh. You are receiving a fresh anointing. Today, those of you at home, receive the Holy Spirit. Don't miss today. In the services, it will be the same. Don't miss today. In the evening, for the anointing of the fourth week, you are receiving a triple anointing for your business, for your, business, for your home, for your family, for your children. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Touch, touch, touch. Join your hands together, lift them up, and just shout fire 21 times. Fire 21 times. Fire 21 Receive the fire. 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 Receive the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Spirit fire. Breathe in. Breathe out. 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 Breathe in. Bre
Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now breathe in. Touch. 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 <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> Jesus, we worship you. Yes, we have received the triple anointing. We are blessed, Father. There are people here who need to plant a special seed well, you are, you for are, your businesses. Well, you know, Invest in printing the books of the Holy Spirit. Then the Lord will favor you above everything. Because he wears the the Just love. Come on. 